What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Space Sweeper. It's uh, I believe it's produced by Netflix and it is on Netflix. And this is a foreign movie, uh, I would say yeah, foreign speaking lot movies. And this movie is essentially about this group, this crew, who, uh, who their job is to solely kind of sweep the space of uh, space junk. Uh, garbage essentially and uh, because they need to clean it up okay so that's just what the movie really started and really and we are and we watched them go through the move go through the journey so what did I like about this movie I like the uh, I really like the military aspect of it uh, I thought it was very cool very uh, Real, almost futuristic, very tactical. I like that kind of stuff. I like that. I also like uh, the Bub. I believe his name was Bub, the robotic, who uh, who worked with the crew. I like his character. I thought he was pretty cool. I like his scene. I thought his scene was very cool, very, uh, very unique, very space-like. What else did I? Uh, what else did I really like about this movie? Wow, that is it. Well, I mean, there the CGI here is pretty good here too. The CGI, the world building is is good. It's uh, you get a glimpse of the of the people that live in space. Especially there's um there's this I guess you could say a little mini planet, or uh, that that you know these poor people that lives on, and then you have the People uh, live on a rich planet, I kind of, almost like a flat planet. It's almost like flat Earth. So it's kind of weird to say that, but it's, it's a space station where the rich people live. So obviously, you get the you see the the poor and the rich in this here. You get the you see the polar opposite. So I like that aspect. You know, you, it's it's very distinctive, very clear, and I like the CGI in this movie. What I don't like about this movie is that it's a we don't know much about the our main character, uh, the, the the gentleman. Not very much. It is all the character not well developed? It is not. Even the villain don't feel don't feel uh, uh, well developed. And now I'll get to him. So the character is weak. Main character, we don't know much about him. He has no skill. He's uh, doesn't really. He doesn't make us sympathize with him, feel for him, try to understand what he's going through. There are certain scenes I sort of understand, but most of the movie it just feel hollow. It feel empty. All these characters feel empty. I feel like they're just there just to fill the role and not actually giving us actual characters. So the all the characters are really hollow out. They don't feel like a real human. They feel shallow. That's what they are. That's what, of, that's what they look like. And that's what, the way they talk, the way they move, and the, the way they talk among each other, it just feel hollow. It doesn't feel like it is a crew. It feels like they're just, a, they're just a crew. They're not really, really a a crew that work together, have relationship, have understanding, they joke around. It, it, it's none of, the, none of that is here. It feels like they're just a bunch of people who are forced together to just play the role. Well, it's, it's very, and then the girl, you don't know about the girl, the little girl. You do know a little bit about her. She is, um, yeah, she has a power, obviously, she's genetically enhanced, staff, so forth. But it doesn't really make me care about her. You know, uh, I don't care. I don't know where she came from a little bit because she was genetically cloned, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there isn't no attachment to the young girl, the little girl. And there is no attachment from the crew to the girl. They attempt to do it, but it is not successfully. It's not well done. It's not earned that the trust between the two parties is not earned. It's not shown well enough. It's not written well enough. What else? The uh, 
uh, what else did I did not like about this movie? Oh, the, the villain. Didn't really care about this guy. Uh, he's, he's a scientist. He's, uh, he sort of half that, almost you could say Napoleon complex. He's, uh, I think he's better than all. He's, you know, rest of humanity is weak and uh, the, you know, kind of like half that uh, Magneto mentality, the, the weak should eliminate the, I mean, the strong should eliminate the weak, but that sort of thing, the, uh, we must move on, or is it dying, da 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 So, this villain doesn't feel like a villain. He feels like a mini boss. That's how he, that's how he feels like, not he feels like, he looks like, he acts like, like a mini boss. Uh, he doesn't, he, re he doesn't pose real threat until the really end. He does a lot of talking. He's, there's no, you get a glimpse of his f philosophical ideology, but it just doesn't translate well enough. He lacked development, he lacked character, he lacked motivation. He does have motivation, but those motivation isn't uh, compelling enough because we have seen this before. I have seen it before, so it doesn't really, I don't really care about his motivation because Thanos has already done it. So it's just, I don't really care what else. Uh, uh, he just, the, he doesn't have dimension. So that's why I didn't really care. Uh, what else did, what else did I like? The movie overall f look and feel average. It seemed like when you go, when you watch the whole movie, the, f the movie feels like there's gap in between. And this movie is two hours long. And you know that this movie could have been short, could have been an hour and a half, but it is two hours. They try to extend the movie, but this movie it can't sustain itself to be two hours because the lack of character development, the lack of stories, the lack of building the characters and the relationship and where they come from, that sort of thing. Building the crew, how they became one. The, there is not really communication. Even in the movie, when you are the crew, you should be communicating, but the, does, there is no crew here. So, what else did I not like about this movie? The ending is so, so... It's kind of okay, but it's not triumphant. I wish we get to see a little bit more one-on-one -on -one fight with our main character and the villain. That would have been a little bit more, you know, epic and more cool, especially out in the space, fighting on, you know, a spaceship. That would have been cool, but we don't get that here. We get a big explosion in the distance, Earth is safe. That has a sort of stuff. It's just feel cliche. It feel done. It feel safe. It feel generic. It feel Hollywood. It feel safe. It doesn't feel like this an actual story. It, it, it feel like it's just a fantasy, but not grounded. So, all right, guys. Not for me of rambling around. What was the rating I give this movie? I give it a, a 3 out of 10. I don't enjoy this movie. I applaud for its, its good CGI. And there's certain things is great in this movie. But overall, it's not worth the watch. Because of lack of character development. Lack of motivation. Lack of the story itself. Lack of script. Lack of development in general. Overall, it just... Not a great movie to watch. It feels like there's holes in the movies. You literally, I can feel it. I can tell from just watching this movie. There are holes in this movie. They are just ex extending the scene to drag it on. So that's why I have to give it a 3 out of 10. It's not a great movie, guys. Don't watch this movie. Even though yeah, it's, it's really heavy on the CGI and special effect. So, 3 out of 10, guys. It is called Space Sweeper. It is on Netflix. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content here for you guys to check out. We do so. Thank you and take care, guys. Bye-bye.